how to convert subnet mask to CIDR notation. CIDR stands for classless interdomain routing. What is the CIDR notation of the mask 252.255.255.252.0? In a subnet mask or IP address, every uh, every part is an octet, and each octet has eight bits. Here I am writing one to eight because these are the uh, these represents the bits in an octet because there are eight bits in an octet. So it is one two three four five six seven eight. And if I find the values uh, powers of two, starting from two raised to power zero, two raised to power one, two raised to power two, the value comes out to be one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four one twenty eight. And if we sum these powers of two value the sum comes out to be 255 that means if all the bits in an octet are on that means all the bits in an octet are 1 then the sum of all these bits come up to 255 that is why the maximum value in a subnet mask uh, in an octet is 255 Let me explain with an example. Let's find the CIDR notation for this value 255, 255, 255.0. 255 means the octet is complete. So I'll write 8. For the second uh, part, we'll write 8. For the third part, I'll write 8. For the last part, which is 0, I'll mention 0 only. And if I sum all these values 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 0 it becomes 24 therefore the CIDR notation for the mask this one is 24 what if this uh, a part is not 255 then how we will calculate this value suppose if the CID uh, if the um, octet part is the value of the octet is 192 then how we will proceed further Remember, if the uh, if the octet uh, if the octet value is between zero and two fifty five, then what we need to do is we need to uh, subtract that value from two fifty six. Here it is one ninety two, so we will subtract from two fifty six, which comes out to be sixty four. And if we see the above table. We see that the 64 comes at the second position. So we'll mention here 2. 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 2, which is 26. That is why the CIDR notation for this subnet mask is slash 26. Let's see this thing. 255, 255, 255.252. If we subtract 252, from 256 it becomes 4 if you see the above table we see that the fourth the value 4 is coming at position 6 from left so 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 6 which is 30 lastly if the value is 254.0 so I'll go 255 is complete octet so we'll mention it 255 is complete octet we'll mention it how we'll find for 254? To find the for 254, we need to subtract it from 256, which comes out to be 2, and 2 stands at position number 7. So we'll mention 7, and since the fourth part is 0, we'll mention 0 only. So 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 7 plus 0, which is 23. Therefore, the CIDR notation will be slash 23. Or 23. We can use the SolarWinds subnet calculator.lz to calculate CIDR2 subnet mask and vice versa. For this, I have inst I already installed this uh, software. 
Solarwind Summit Calculator.exe. Its size is 14.4 MB approximately. And when it installs, it releases an icon on the desktop. Advanced Summit Calculator. Let's check the CIDR calculator for this uh, mass. Suppose we use 24, that means the mass will be 255.258.0. And if I use a submit mask of 32, 32 then the CIDR mask will be this one. Or we will do if I use the IP or bits, 30 bits, then it will be 252. This way we can calculate. Okay. In this part of the video, we are going to talk about online IP submit calculator whose IP uh, whose URL is this for this launch internet explorer paste this IP address which is which has been shown at the top or here also here we see that there are two sections one is mask bits one is the one is the mask bits this is a CIDR notation and this is the related submit mask like for 24th uh, mask bit the submit mask will be 252 similarly for 30 it will be 255 255 255.252 and if you want to see what is the CID annotation for some mask mask bit 8 it is for 8 it is 255.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. for 16 it is 255.0.0.0 .0 .0. For 24, it is 255.255.255.0, and for 30, it is 255.255.255.252. Okay, so this way you can check the CID annotation, and if you want to see the reverse, if you want to see that what is the CI mask bit for 255.0.0 just click this one it shows the mask bit is 8 and for 2 255 mask bit is 16 and for 3 255s 7 uh, mask bit is 24 this way we can check what is the bit and submit mask and the corresponding submit mask using this online IP submit calculator? In this part of the video, we are going to talk about network classes. Network classes. Uh, an octet is compo is composed of eight uh, eight bits. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. This is the eight bits in an octet and if we calculate the powers of 2, 2 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3, 2 raised to power 4, 2 raised to power 5, 2 raised to power 6, 2 raised to power 7 and 2 raised to power 7 becomes 128 so these are the powers of 2 their value actually 128, 2 raised to power 6 is 64, 2 raised to power 5 is 32 so based upon this which bit is turned on we can uh, classify, classify the IP addresses like for class A the leftmost bit is off therefore the IP address is 1.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. 
for class B, the IP address, the this bit is the last bit is on. That is why I mentioned it as one. So the value for this is 128. So the IP address starts from 128.0.0.0. Since it is 128 and 120, previous to this it is it was 127.0.0.1, which was uh, reserved for local host. So the end IP for class A was 1 to 126. For class B, we can also check it from here. 1 to 126 class A. See for class A, the first octet range is this one, the super network class A. For the next class B, it was from 128 to 191 because before 192 it will become 191. For class C, the leftmost two digits uh, two bits are on so it becomes 128 and 64 if we add both of them the sum becomes 192 that is why it shows as 192 for class D the three bits are on 128 64 and 32 if we sum these three, it becomes 224. That is why the starting IP of class D is 224, and for class E, all the four bits are, all the last four bits are on. That is why. It becomes if we sum this becomes 240. That is why it shows as 240. And since it is 240, therefore the end IP of previous previous class will be 239. Since this is 224, so the previous IP will be previous class end IP will be 223. Since it is 192, so the IP address of previous class will be 191. Since it is 128, so it should be 127, but, but because 127 is reserved for localhost, so it will be 126. Based upon this, you can see for class A, it is 1 to 126. Which you can see from here, class A 1 to 126. For class B, it is 128 to 191. Click. See here 128 to 191. For class C, it is 192 to 223. 192 to 223. This way, the network classes are classified. S class A, class B, class C, class D, class E, depending upon which bits in the octet are on. In this part of the video, we are going to talk about what are the three uh, layer devices layer 1 device, layer 2 device, and layer 3 devices. Layer 1 devices like hub. A hub can accept is not intelligent enough and it can through this the network traffic comes from this PC and from this PC so this is a, there is a chance of collision of network so it is collision domain so hub is known as layer on device switch switch is somewhat intelligent there is no collision it knows how to send data from one place to another and last layer 3 devices the router 